In the world of classic movies, there was a standout actor known for bringing all kinds of characters to life on the screen. His ability to play tough cowboys or tricky villains made him really special. He was in the movies for a long time, and he made a big impact. People loved watching him, and he's still remembered fondly today. Share your favorite memory or story about this amazing actor below. And keep watching to learn more interesting things about him. A prominent figure in shaping Hollywood during his era and beyond, this individual played a pivotal role in influencing the film industry through his acting skills and innovative approaches to roles. Not only did he excel on screen, but he also left a lasting mark on the Western genre, which became a hallmark of American cinema. His portrayal of strong, morally upright characters resonated deeply with audiences, embodying the rugged yet compassionate cowboy archetype that would set a standard for future stars. Through these performances, he captured the essence of the American frontier spirit, captivating viewers worldwide. Beyond acting, he ventured into producing and directing, paving the way for greater creative control within the industry. His willingness to take risks and explore new storytelling avenues contributed to the evolution of filmmaking techniques and narrative styles. His influence extended far beyond his time, shaping the trajectory of American cinema for generations. From his memorable portrayals to his behind-the-scenes work, his imprint on Hollywood is undeniable. In the movie Red River, he played Mr. Melville, and his real-life son took on the role of Dan Latimer. He also portrayed the president of the Senate in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, hinting at a potential rise to the vice presidency, but the movie left it uncertain. Interestingly, this film paid tribute to his friend's silent movie, The Three Godfathers. When his friend passed away, he decided to redo the story as a dedication, with his son starring as the Abilene Kid, adding a personal touch. The 1936 film, Three Godfathers, shares the same source material, adding significance to this remake. This connection between the films spans generations, enriching their cinematic history. This story, centered on family ties and artistic tribute, illustrates the lasting spirit of Hollywood storytelling. Thus, the narrative continues to capture audiences transcending time and generations. In a salute to a beloved figure of the Wild West era, John Ford paid tribute to him in a heartfelt manner. He was referred to as the bright star of the early western sky by Ford in a dedication for a movie. His presence remained felt even after his departure, notably in his final film, Red River, where he took on the role of Mr. Melville. This marked the conclusion of his acting journey as he passed away soon after at the age of 69. Ford's homage persisted in Three Godfathers, with a nod to his influence at the beginning of the film, featuring a lone rider reminiscent of his silhouette against the setting sun. His impact on the Western genre stayed vivid, surpassing his time on screen, leaving a lasting impression on Muviegor's hearts. In the world of movies, some actors leave a big impression not just with their acting, but also with how they affect others in the industry. It's interesting how even big stars like John Wayne can recognize the talent of someone they might not have liked personally like Montgomery Clift. Clift came from a busy city upbringing with a dad who was a respected judge. His acting skills were so good that even famous directors like John Ford made special movies to honor him. This shows how much people respected him in Hollywood. In Hollywood, where people's egos often clash, it's important to acknowledge when someone does a good job, even if you don't get along with them. That's what John Wayne did for Montgomery Clift, showing that talent matters more than personal feelings. Clift's impact on the film industry is seen not just in the movies he starred in, but also in the way directors and actors remember him. His influence goes beyond just his acting. It's about how he inspired others and left a lasting impression. Montgomery Clift is a name that will always be remembered in Hollywood, not just for his acting skills, but for the way he affected those around him. In a tale of Hollywood history, a legendary actor made his mark on the big screen. His performances brought depth and authenticity, captivating audiences worldwide. His work resonated with aspiring actors and filmmakers alike, shaping the world of cinema. The movie he starred in, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, earned him acclaim and recognition. Alongside his son, he received stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Golden Boot Award. Despite sharing a name with a baseball announcer, his path in entertainment stood distinct. His talent and dedication to the craft were undeniable, leaving an enduring legacy. From classic films to memorable TV shows, his influence endures, inspiring generations of artists. In a classic film, he played a key role as the leader of the Senate, earning one of the earliest nominations for Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars for his performance. Despite his hard work, he didn't win, which was tough for him. 
He worked tirelessly for years to pay off the debts on his ranch. But then tragedy struck when a nearby dam collapsed, destroying everything he had achieved. In another film, he portrayed a typical cowboy character, which became his trademark in Hollywood. Many years later, he was honored by another famous actor in a movie, recognizing his long-lasting influence on Western movies. His story of highs and lows lives on in Hollywood history. In the world of movies, there was a notable actor who formed strong bonds with his fellow performers. He collaborated with John Wayne in four films, and his son also joined them in ten projects. One memorable moment was in Red River, where both father and son shared the screen. Their partnership was part of a larger pattern seen in the movie industry. Wayne often worked with the same actors, creating a sort of group of regulars. For example, Hank Worden, who played Old Moe's in The Searchers, appeared in 15 other Wayne movies. Similarly, Paul Fix and Wayne worked together in 27 pictures spanning many years. This camaraderie extended to other actors like Noah Beery Jr., who appeared with Wayne in four films. This interconnectedness within the movie industry shows how actors often formed lasting partnerships with directors and fellow performers. The actor's impact goes beyond just his individual performances. It speaks to the strong connections and contributions within the world of Western cinema. The father of Harry Carey Jr. and Ellen was a prominent figure in the film industry. His wife clarified the circumstances surrounding his passing, dispelling rumors of a black widow spider bite. Instead, he succumbed to lung cancer, emphysema from smoking, and pneumonia in his youth. At Woodlawn Cemetery in Bronx, New York, rest various relatives, including a stable boy and old Joe Harris, a fellow actor and longtime friend. Harry Carey, known for his role as President of the Senate and Mr. Smith, goes to Washington, starred alongside acclaimed actors such as James Stewart and Thomas Mitchell. The film featured a cast of esteemed nominees and winners, including Beulah Bondi, H.B. Warner, Claude Rains, and Gene Arthur. Harry Carey's contribution to the film remains notable in cinematic history. Embarking on a journey through the golden era of cinema, Harry Carey Jr. stood as a notable figure. His acting journey commenced long ago, back in 1921, when he made his debut on the silver screen as an infant in Desperate Trails. Directed by John Ford and featuring his father, this marked the beginning of his career. As years passed, Carey honed his skills, gracing several noteworthy films like Pursued, Blood on the Moon, and Red River. Notably, in Red River, he played Mr. Melville, sharing screen time with his father, albeit in separate scenes. Harry Carey Jr. first stepped into the film world in 99 with Bill Sharkey's last game at the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company. Throughout his journey, he remained dedicated to his craft, leaving a lasting impact on the industry.